All right, another day, another trip to the Goodwill bins in the bread truck. As I said last time we drove the bread truck to the Goodwill bins, my major hope is to find some stuff at the bins today that's useful for the van because the van is still my main priority right now, getting it to where there's kind of a camper set up built inside so we can travel around in this bad boy. And you're looking for jeans, I presume? Always. Let's show off this sweater. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you gotta stick around, it's gonna be a good one. rotation we walked in at a pretty good time and uh, I'm at a whole bin of toys here it's a lot of plush Star Wars keychain let's go Is that a, worm? a few trains a monopoly a tiny monopoly game there's just a bunch of weird stuff in here so I've started off with a really cool bin it's got a ton of old photos in it Couple Polaroids. This one's my fave. There's two little cats creeping. It's just this woman's like family photo. It's really cool. A whole lot of nonsense today. That's kind of nice. Build the bear. I should probably hold on to that. Check it out. Uh, is that Chewy? That's Chewy. Okay. Is that a thing full of fake lemons? Teddy bears in a tub. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Today has been a pretty good day for vintage. Look at these beautiful shorts. Very happy. A little pair of Lee shorts too, so that's a good little find. Man, it's too bad there's not more of this floor paneling here. I could have our van floored today. There's just six or seven pieces. That kind of thing happens here though. One of these days we could get lucky enough to floor our whole van from the Goodwill bins. That'd be ridiculous. Oh, that's roughed up. This is beautiful. Like I just kind of want to get it on principle. It's so stunning. It's got the veil with it. Oh. Bro, bro, it's PS3. Uh, it has its hard drive, but it's missing its hard drive door. Uh, it's not too banged up though, it looks good. I'm back at the bin with all the photos. Here's proof. There's a ton of vintage stuff in here. A lot of it is skirts, which I don't really mess with, but I did find this little Elmo swimsuit. It's super cute, I'm getting it. <laughs> but. There's a bunch of stuff to look at in here. I've been finding lots of charger cables, uh, just all different kinds, USB-C and stuff, but it never ceases to amaze me how often 3D printer filament shows up here. Like I stay pretty well stocked with it. It's kind of nuts. And I think I'll take this little bag over here, put all my stuff in. I'll just put you in there too. Hello. Hello from inside my bag. What I wouldn't give for this to be a swimsuit. It looks like it could be, but it's not. It's like a cheerleading dance outfit but it's old and it's so cute. Look at those buttons. We are on to round two now. We've been waiting in line to basically restart for about an hour. The way that our bins is working is it's open for an hour. We have to wait on the sidelines for an hour for them to restock. Not all bins work quite the same, but this is what ours is doing now post COVID. But I'm starting with this bin in round two because I see some posters. It's a little bit too rough for me to buy. But I'm always curious when there's multiple posters because there's a little Pirates of the Caribbean. I'll uh, be sure to set these aside gently in case someone does want them. I've just got too many posters to deal with right now. I got a lot of posters. Lightsaber piece.
Barbie. Is this a baby bath? Baby bath. Nerf piece. Oh, baby. Cheap lightsaber. A little bit too rough. Blade's been bent up. There's a penguin. Kangaroo. Nothing hidden in his pouch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Classic. Lucille Ball. Lots of posters. Lots and lots of posters. Noisy Cricket. I think I found Stitch. <laughs> Itty bitty Stitch. I need a baggie. Be right back. I need a baggie. Oh, shoot, there's already stuff in here. Trash. All right. Oh, baby, I didn't see that. That's crazy. Yu-Gi-Oh, both it. What if there were some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in here? If I find Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in this bin, it's over. The amount it pains me that this isn't adult size. <laughs> Your little overalls. Oh my God. I just wish that was big people size. Ooh, check it out. Beyblade launcher. I wonder if that means there's more Beyblade in here. I don't know, but let me show you something cool. I haven't went to the regular store and bought Sharpies in ages because they show up so much here. So here's a bag full of supplies. I'd say maybe a third of it's Sharpies. Uh, so I'm going to go through all of them and test them and just take all the good Sharpies with me because it's a great way to get them. Fine tips, double tips, regular tips, lots of Sharpie. Don't tell them what else is in here. There's tons of the Sharpies just spilled out. There's so many. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna be here a while. This is a beautiful lamp. It's a shame that one of the bulbs is broken. It sucks. It's so pretty. We've got some fun stuff here today. This is a pretty lamp too. This is your last time. The shade's a little damaged, so I didn't end up getting it. That's not how you spell vase. the sweatshirt i wish it were bigger i would totally get it for myself it just gives me the right amount of spooky and adorable vibes i love it <laughs> if you haven't been here that was someone's yard sale rejects and i am so bummed i wasn't at that yard sale because there's some beautiful stuff in here somebody just dug through it before me so he got some really good items but uh he left a few things for me like this snowscape sweatshirt there's actually two of them, so I'm just gonna take the better of the two for me. I don't sell a ton of Christmas sweaters, but I just like them. Got a nice no excuses and a little striped short with the elastic waist. This baby is for me. That's really fun. Well, that was an interesting run at the bins. You got a few things worth talking about. I, I got, you know, stuff for the booth. This actually sells for a good little bit. Build-A-Bear stuff typically does if it's recognizable characters. And then I got a PlayStation 3 that looks pretty solid. Honestly, the last one I brought home looked way rougher than this. Uh, but it's missing this little hard drive cover. Well, luckily, I keep several spares of those at home. I got a little box full of them. So uh, this should be good. Someone's clearly tried to open it up. 
So what I would typically do with this, just because we bring home so many of them, is take them to our buy sell trade store, get a few bucks out of it, but they won't take it because the seal is broken and stuff. So uh, there's seals over certain screws in the bottom. Uh, that's that's way since been removed because it's also had a uh, like a GameStop third party seal on it as well that's been ripped off. But when those things haven't been working and get donated to the thrift, it's usually a bad hard drive, which I also have spares of at home. So I'll get that bad boy working. I'm thinking about trying to sell a few PS3s at our antique mall booths. Uh, we've sold a lot of Wii's in them. We gotta put some more consoles in there because we've just got so many. Why don't you dig out some of this stuff to talk about? You bought the most ridiculous wedding dress. Today was a very interesting vintage day. I can't figure out what's the top and bottom. Is this a veil? <laughs> it's the veil. It's the matching veil for this. And I just, I don't know, I just couldn't put it down. It was so pretty. It is. Great shape. It is near perfect. It's stunning. So I've never tried to sell a wedding dress since I left my last job, which I've sold wedding dresses for a profession. Um, so I'm very interested to see how it goes. That's um, it. I don't, well, I guess I can hold that while you show, <laughs> <laughs> show the rest of the cool stuff that you got. I got a bunch of colorful vintage, which I love. I got some uh, striped shorts, so cute. And I got a little stripey shirt for me. Come uh, summer, I'm gonna be rocking this. Oh, that's beautiful. This was interesting. I don't typically pick up t-shirts, but what is this? <laughs> oh, it's, it's uh, awesome is what it is. I'd wear that if it fit me. It's pretty rad. That'll sell on, <laughs> that'll sell on Depop. I was like, I can't pass that up for sure. This is both amazing and so sad at the same time. Why is it sad? Because it's in such rough shape. Oh, it's just dirty. I think an OxyClean bath, I might have to um, shorten these straps a little bit and just kind of... Take out the dirty part, you think? It will just shorten. They're really stretched out, so they're oh, supposed to be elastic. They're elastic. And they're... Well, yeah. it's interesting because if those were in perfect condition, I'm thinking like $75 pair of overalls. Yeah. There's, I mean, a, there's a lot of special stuff going on there. Like yeah. we'd probably post them for 75 and take a $65 offer. Yeah, and like the ones without the straps, I usually do for like 40, 50. Right, so the straps make them special. The straps and, and like we sell so much Wayne the Pooh clothing that it's nuts. I want to talk about this piece you got. <laughs> Once again, if this fit me, there's just so much going on. It's, <laughs> it's leather. And then yeah. the lining is cheetah print, and then the lining has music notes. It's a lot. I mean, if you can even get past the stars, there's a lot going on there. You know what's really funny is a Queen song was playing while I found this, and I was like, how do I not get yeah, this right now? It was meant to be. Is that all the amazing stuff you got? Yeah, everything else is pretty, like, solid, but... Uh... Yeah, I, I, I got bags full of stuff. I showed it all along the way that we found it, so, you know... Uh, some 3D printer filament is always nice, it, but that's a sample. Yeah. You get sent sample packs and then you can order more, but it's still cool. I can still use it. Uh, a bag full of nonsense. That Mario I found right at the end was probably the best. <laughs> He's you, so chunky. I was like, don't put your tongue on that. <laughs> it's not going to stick. It's lost its suction. Uh, and then the only game I left with, someone threw it back, didn't want it, but it's good. I'll take a PS3 any day. I mean, we really killed it with the clothes, or you killed it with the clothes. Yeah, it was a good day. This is all stuff we'll post on Depop. You're dirty. Come here. You might recall a couple days ago, right after we bought this van, we filled it up with some three wood pallets to get some wood paneling out of. This is the progress we've made. Hannah's over here doing the dirty work. <laughs> That's the cover photo right there. <laughs> <laughs> if only the cover photos would, would be in motion. <laughs> we got just a couple hours before the sun goes down, so we're gonna get just a little bit more work on the van done, uh, and we're gonna go to a cool spot you may or may not be familiar with, and probably be there while the sun goes down. So we'll work and then reward ourselves with the sunset. Yay! spots on earth isn't this just crazy 
You know why it looks like it's out of a movie? Because it is. Because it's been in a bunch of movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get a little work done before the sun goes down, and we'll watch the sunset. Is that romantic? <laughs> How about you do the work? Am I putting off romantic vibes in my tank top? Bucky's a ooh. <laughs> Bucky's headband is. Are you into that? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You're into that. All right, watch out. <laughs> like I'm preparing my murder van. It looks fake. <laughs> it looks like I'm in front of a green screen, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, I can see that. Like the sky's that perfect little... Should hit it with heavy saturation and some black bars. I'll probably look just like a movie. All right, let's let's uh, let's see how this goes. Height, height. It's going real quick. Won't even have to time lapse it. This is the good stuff. Yeah, this is uh, this is bed liner. It's kind of like a cheaper version of a Raptor liner, uh, which is that real tough stuff that you spray your truck bed with. But I like to spray the extra bits on my vehicles with it. A lot of stuff on our old van was painted with this stuff. It holds up, can't scratch it, unless you really, really are trying to. But uh, see how I just did one coat and it pretty much looks good. I went a little heavy in one corner. You see how it's kind of, adding up there but it's fine it, i'm gonna hit it with a second coat but it, it almost doesn't need it this stuff goes on thick and you can see it comes out thick when you use this stuff you want to clean off the nozzle because it, it gums up pretty quickly but it, it's not gonna need any more than this let's just leave it at that and do the other one i'm excited to put these back on i think i think we're gonna end up doing those black I think we're going to do this stuff here black and then probably the bumper. That'll pretty much be it. Uh, but just kind of black trim. I think it'll look good, don't you? I do. The bumper might be a little too much. I don't know. The, bl the back bumper is black and I kind of like that. We'll see. What are you working on? Getting some nails out of some wood pallets. We got a bunch of shipping pallets to do the inside of our van with, to wood panel with. Uh, we did buy some more supplies today to do that with some insulation and some wood strips, but I think we're not going to get to that today. Uh, we're just going to get the rest of the wood prepped, probably get some nails out of it, sand a few of the boards, and then you can come back tomorrow and definitely see how we're going to begin insulating and paneling the inside of this thing to start making it more homey. But right now, today's just about painting. I just want to get some stuff painted. I wish we had a bed back there. If there was a bed in there, we'd just sleep here tonight and keep working tomorrow, but that's not going to happen. Let's fly this drone. I want you guys to see this mountain a little closer. you 
but I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Like two black eyes, baby. I think I'll eventually remove this whole front panel. It's kind of bent in down here so I can straighten it out. And I can also pop the rivets off the back of here and paint the silver trim black as well. And then I could scrape off the original sticker and replace it at almost the exact same size. Uh, I think that'd be good. I think that would look good. What do you think? I think so. I think it would look nice. It's really just black bumper or no black bumper. I'm leaning towards black bumper. Uh, the whole front of it will just be a nice mix of black and white. When this is black also, I'll take this off, paint these black. I think it look good. I'm happy. I'm happy with my choices. <laughs> goes on super thick. Well, that literally took 30 seconds. <laughs> Two people knocked out. Look at these mud bros. They had fun. They really did. Uh, there's a gated area another mile or so back. You go back there and it just turns into like muddy trail central. We've been back there, but in our old van. Not going back there in this one. Are you ready for the big reveal? Yes. Oh, she's so pretty. She is. Should I keep going and do the hood? <laughs> we got some uh, flex paste. <laughs> it's very nice having these lights in the back of here. See what we're doing. Arg. Our rolly cart here got in a fight with our insulation board on the way here, so we're trying to lock her down so they don't get in a fight this time. <laughs> oh, this is great, man. I feel so, like, we're not even on a trip right now, but I feel so adventurous having all this space in our vehicle and being out in the mountains and stuff. It's a bummer we didn't bring the futon. Yeah, I know. If we did, we'd totally stay here, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we really would. Next time. All right. All right, guys, let's wrap this up. Look at the sunset. This camera, of course, is not gonna do it justice, but I love being out here for that. I really do. Uh, one of my favorite places on earth. If you're ever coming to Phoenix for a vacation, definitely hit me up on our Discord, which you can check the link out in the video's description. That's the place where if you need to contact me for something, that's gonna be your best bet. But I'm telling you this because if you ever come to Phoenix and you wanna know where this place is, I wanna tell you where it's at. I wanna share this little secret with you. Uh, but the sun is going down. You're not gonna see me here in just a second. This van's looking good. I'm very happy with the changes that we've made up here. Of course, it's not gonna show up much in the dark, but the black accents, I'm very happy with them. Uh, that's gonna be it though. Had fun at the bins, brought home some good stuff. We really needed that clothing stuff we brought home because uh, we keep a stock of stuff to try to post daily on Depop, which is our biggest, our biggest seller. And uh, we get a little nervous when we're low on stuff and can't post anything, but we got a week's worth of stuff to post. So that was good. Oh, what else do we need to talk about? Help us get 10,000 subs, guys. We're like 75 away from 9,000 and then it's just another thousand to go and we'll finally hit that big road mark. We'll have to do something to celebrate. Maybe we'll take, let me know in the comments if this sounds good to you, maybe we'll take a 10,000 sub trip. What do you think, Hannah? Yes. 10,000 sub road trip, thrift trip, bread truck trip? I think so. Uh, hit the like button if that sounds good to you, but most importantly, guys, do sub, help us get to 10,000, and then come back tomorrow because we do post daily videos on this channel. So I'd love to see you tomorrow. And until then, Hannah, peace out.